Well, I got something in the mail today that I've been looking forward to and it's come just in time because I got a trip planned for this coming weekend. It's going to work out great. Let me show you what it is. Oh yeah, my way out west. Gear just arrived. On my hoodie. T-shirt. And my hat. And go over to Way Out West Adventures. Check out their Instagram page. Go check out their YouTube channel. They got good stuff going on in both places. Well, you can't see it, but I got my Blacktails Out West hoodie on. T-shirt underneath it. And it's uh, getting its break-in session out here in Southern Oregon. And we have our first shed. It's seen better days. Much better days, but it is a shed. And it's mostly there, so yay for me. Um, but with further ado, let's pick it up. <clears throat> for now, it'll come with us. Because that's just how I roll. Well, as I thought it was might be a bust, I have one. Not fresh, but it's not bad. Good little forward arm. There it is. It's the deuce. But that's what we're looking for. Well, we got shed number three. Uh, this was a bigger and uh, better than the last two. Um, not a brownie, but uh, shed the shed. Let's see what I got. Yeah. Little three point. Maybe last year's. Stupid little squirrels. That's what we're looking for right there. So, I got another one. I'm not sure if it's the match to the first little forked horn I found or not, but uh, it is the opposite side, so that's good. And it's along, it's along the same line, so we'll see when we pick it up. Well, three. Uh, I don't think so. That base is bigger. Uh, three. So, different buck. Different buck. Well, either way. That's uh, three full antlers and a bit, a quarter. But that's what we got going for the day. Hopefully working our way into the browns. We'll, see. well back to the truck. Um, it was those three in that one piece. And uh, the black tails out west. Did a great job, and uh, here we go. Well, I've been hiking for about hour and a half, two hours. Only got one. It has seen better years, but it is a shed, and we're gonna pick it up. Here it is. She's definitely seen better years, but it's what we're looking for. Maybe a little newer, but won't go home empty-handed. Yeah. I'll wait to pick up my shed, Jake. All right, Mr. Nino, what'd you find? One right off the side of the road. 
Apparently Jake has missed us the 47 times he's been up here, but that's why he brings me. Yeah, that's why I bring him. That's great. Butthole. I find the other half. <laughs> Butthole. Yeah, you find the other half of that one. So this this episode might be uh, Nino finds sheds instead <laughs> of uh, Jacob Bro Gorilla finds sheds, but it's okay. <laughs> We're having fun. So Nino's second shed of the day. It's older than I am. So that's what he thinks. It's older than I am. I'm very concerned with the fact that it will fall apart in my hands, but I did literally step on it. So well, it held up to your weight then. It did. So it's uh, hard as a rock. Look at that. Still, still brown with dirt. Hey, it's yeah. brown, right? That's a shed. Bit of a mossy horn, but it's cool because the other half's over there. Right there. <laughs> Even though they're old, I'm surprised. They're still out here. Yep. yep. See it. Whole match. Nice. Good job. Now he's in the brown version. <laughs> yeah, he's uh he's doing all the heavy lifting today. But you know, this way I can take pictures and video and I don't have to carry him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Nino found another one. Uh we didn't do a pickup on it. It's uh gonna stay here hanging on a on a stump. Yep. Nino said it's too old for him to take. I have so, minutes. I so have that's minutes. five to five to none. <laughs> well, I'm finally on the board with a three point. Maybe a four point. I might have a kick on the back. But uh here we go. So here we go. So doing a bucket list check. I've had an area that I've wanted to check for a while. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to have my bucks that I've been seeing over the years, past couple of years from my camera that's in the backwoods um, and where they're dropping. Finding some good area, uh, good possibility, uh, but just found my first shed. Uh, I don't think it's one that I have on the older side but I won't go out empty-handed and that makes for a good day but here it is oh, four point been chewed on Looking at the lie guard. But not a bad shed. See if we can find some more. Well, I found a lot more beds. I have absolutely no idea where they took the antlers. My theory is is that they bed up high and there's like stair stepping in the beds. I, my theory is that the big ones are up top and they shed their antlers and they roll down the hill to the next one and that deer eats it and then so on. So you might get a couple, but it's only the small ones at the bottom. I think that's where they're all going because I have no idea. But I did find another one. It's about the same condition as the last one. But it is a shed. And I'll take it. And we'll be on our merry way. Here it is. There it is. Right there. Well, this is unfortunate, but <laughs> at least I wasn't in it.
I don't think I'll be using that this year. Looks like it, uh, looks like that broke. Back to the drawing board. That's a bummer. Maybe we have some good pictures on the game camera. 13 point, quarter, 13 and a quarter miles, two sheds. Find some beds. It's a little rough. But here we go. This one was the first. Second. Probably last year's. <laughs> Definitely not last year's. But all on a good day. Fun, now home.